Hello everyone and welcome back to North of the Fray. My name is Tanya and today I want to discuss the real reason narcissists exist and the subtle tactics they use to cause their targets to become more like them. We'll discuss how they first offend, then provoke others into a cycle of revenge and bitterness. Many of us have had to jump off of this hamster wheel, so we know best. It's a pattern that's sadly common, yet often goes unnoticed. So let's talk about it and peel back the layers to uncover the truth. But before we do, you got it. Will you please hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell to help this channel grow? And I do thank you in advance. Okay, so what are narcissists up to? Are they just living from day to day like most people? Or is there something more sinister at work? Those of us who have been in a relationship with a narcissist of any kind, be it friendship, uh, co-worker, <laughs> parent, married, we know that there is something more sinister at work. Narcissists often exhibit what can be described as a hardened heart, a concept that can be understood in the light of John chapter 8 verse 44, where Jesus speaks of the devil as the father of lies. It reads, you belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. This scripture highlights the essence of deceit and manipulation, traits commonly associated with narcissistic behavior. Narcissists, fueled by a spirit of deception, not only indulge in self-admiration, but also actively engage in transforming those around them to mirror their traits. Their approach is subtle yet pervasive, infiltrating the psyche of others often without their awareness. This insidious influence aligns with the chilling narrative of a movie that I watch often and it's called The Body Snatchers. If you haven't seen this movie, I suggest that you watch some version of it. Uh, in this movie, the transformation from human to whatever these body snatcher things are is stealthy and complete, leaving behind a facade that resembles the original person, yet lacks their core essence. Similarly, Narcissists use various tactics of manipulation and control to gradually alter the thinking and behavior of others. They create environments where their traits are normalized, leading others to unconsciously adopt similar patterns of pride and self-centeredness. Over time, this can lead to a societal shift where narcissistic traits are not just accepted, but expect it, further entrenching the cycle of emotional detachment and self-interest. This broader impact of narcissistic behavior is comparable to a cultural body snatching, where empathy and genuine connection are slowly replaced by a pervasive culture of narcissism. The challenge in today's world as highlighted by this analogy, is the discernment between the genuine and the false as narcissistic traits become more prevalent in society. Second Timothy chapter three, verses one through five warns of this stating, but understand this, that in the last days, there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, 
ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power. Those are your church folks. Avoid such people. This passage eerily echoes the societal shift towards narcissistic traits, portraying a landscape where self-centeredness and pride overshadow humility and empathy. The spread of this spirit of pride is concerning as it not only hardens the heart of those who embrace it, but also those who are repeatedly exposed to it. Victims of narcissistic behavior may find themselves developing a hardened heart as a defense mechanism against the emotional trauma they experience. This cycle creates a societal shift where authentic Empathetic interactions become scarce and surface level prideful interactions become the norm. The battle against the spread of narcissistic influence in our lives and society calls for more than just awareness and behavioral strategies. It necessitates a deeper spiritual approach. The scripture from James chapter 4 verses 7 through 8. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. This provides a profound directive for this spiritual battle. And of course, we know Ephesians 6. Please go and read it. Okay. It emphasizes the necessity of aligning oneself with divine principles and seeking God's guidance and strength in the face of such challenges. In a world where narcissistic traits are increasingly normalized, maintaining one's authenticity and empathy requires a firm grounding in spiritual values. Submitting to God implies a willingness to align one's life with his teachings and principles, which often run counter to the self-centeredness and pride propagated by narcissistic influences. It means cultivating qualities like humility, compassion, and selflessness, which stand in contrast to the traits admired in a narcissism-driven culture. Resisting the devil in this context can be interpreted as standing firm against the temptations and manipulations that narcissists often use, setting boundaries and sticking to them. This resistance is not just a passive stance, but an active endeavor to uphold truth, integrity, and genuine love in interactions and relationships. It involves recognizing the manipulative tactics of narcissists and choosing not to engage in their destructive patterns, but yet, as Ephesians 5.11 says, expose them. Drawing near to God is about seeking a deeper, more meaningful connection with the Most High God. It involves regular prayer, scripture meditation, and reflection, allowing individuals to tap into a source of wisdom and strength that surpasses their own. This spiritual connection provides the fortitude to face the challenges posed by narcissistic behaviors and to respond to them in ways that are healthy and constructive. And as always, I want to thank you all for being here for this conversation. I hope that I have shared something helpful for you today. Remember, knowledge and understanding are powerful tools in maintaining our emotional health and resilience. So until next time, Take good care of yourselves, stay aware, and keep your heart open to learning and growing. Be blessed.